Maybe they won't kill me. Maybe they'll be nice. Hello gorgeous people, what is going on, and welcome back to The Horror Tapes. In case you're new to the series, in each video we go over three different tapes. And on each one of these tapes is my playthrough of a new recent indie horror game. Today's games are interesting, I think we have some really good ones and some interesting ones. And in a few of these games you might actually recognize some of the devs. All of these games are free, so if you want to try them out for yourself the link will be in the description down below. But alright, here we go, let's jump into the horror tapes. So welcome to our first horror tape of today, which is called Thought Form Invasion. This game is by Jamezel, who's made quite a few games that we've played before, like Entity Room, Missing Hiker, both of those videos you can find on the channel. In this game, we need to try to fall asleep while being harassed by Redacted. That is literally what it says in the game description. The more you think about them, the more likely they are to materialize. So, um, I believe there's five nights in this classic, uh, so let's just jump right in. Night one. Try to sleep. Press E to open eyes. So as you can see, very, very simple concept. Looks like we got a battery life too. Did I just see something in the window? Um. All right. I'm stressed out already. <laughs> I'm guessing there's going to be like sound cues. This is low key how it is when I'm actually trying to fall asleep in bed at night. Like I'll close my eyes and the second I hear a noise, I'm like, hello. And so far there's been nothing there. Maybe it's like FNAF, you know, nothing really happens on night one. Looks like the longer you keep your eyes closed, the faster the bar goes. All right, we're just going to send it. I'm not opening my eyes. You fell asleep. Let's go. Okay, <laughs> that was night one. All right, I guess, we'll just try to speed through this, I guess. Night two, lights, light scares them. Okay. Oh, so maybe there was really nothing on the first night. I've not heard a noise yet. I'm scared because I don't know if... Oh, shit. Okay. I was just going to say, I'm not sure if there's going to be like a noise cue when something's happening or if I'm just going to end up getting jump scared. I feel like the battery is going down a lot quicker this time. Hello? I heard something walking down the hall next to me. Jesus Christ. Okay, I just gotta relax. I gotta relax. This was me, I would just never sleep. I'm really suspect of that hall on the right. Are we just gonna keep our eyes closed? Unless we hear something. Okay, we heard something at the last second there. But I think we're good. Here we go, let's run it. Night three. It's definitely getting scarier as time goes on. First night was literally nothing. Ignore noise. It is a dead ass. Or was that like a joke? Should I ignore the noise? Like, I don't know. Okay, no. Definitely not ignoring the noise. Okay, someone... 
my ghost cooking some lunch or something? What's going on? Oh, Jesus. Everything's fine. My ears are cheap. Was that painting always like that? Why is my ear so itchy right now? I need to listen. Send it, send it, send it, send it. Ignore the microwave, ignore the microwave, ignore the microwave. Come on, just finish the night, just finish the night, just finish the night. Go! Okay. Alright. Alright, we're done. I gotta I gotta scratch this ear, man. This ear is so itchy right now, I don't know why. Alright, night four. So we're 60% done so far. That night was definitely the most stressful. And I can imagine it's just gonna get worse. Alright, here we go. Night four. Listen. Carefully. Look, that picture's back to normal now. I wonder if that was like something I should have kept the flashlight locked on. Like, I don't know if I should look when the microwave goes off. Oh, hello. Bro had a long neck. We're already at 86%. I'm just not turning the flashlight on unless I hear noise. I'm sorry, I had to look. Oh, look, the, the picture changed again. Damn, bro. Chill. Sounds like bro was messing up my whole kitchen. Oh. Damn, I'm already at 57% battery. Come on. Oh, get away. I think I definitely messed up this level. Come on, come on. My God, dude. I'm, I'm literally not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. We're on 7%. It's over. Now I just got no flashlight. We might as well. Might as well just keep our eyes closed. Maybe they won't kill me. Maybe they'll be nice. Okay. Well, I was wrong. All right, well, let's run it back. This time, I'm literally not opening my eyes unless there's a noise. So I guess no matter what, even if the battery dies, we still lose. Cause that definitely, that definitely made it to the end of the bar, and I still died there. Let's go. Okay. Okay, we still like barely survived that though. We had like what, 27% battery left or something like that? I just realized that the background of the menu is getting darker every time, right? By the way, uh, don't forget to use Cody Morda at the link in the description to get yourself some gamer subs with 10% uh, off. Stuff seriously helps me keep energized throughout these videos. Not opening my eyes unless there's a necessary noise.
I don't know what that was supposed to mean there. That noise was new. That was 10%? Oh my god. I think I know which... I think I know which noises mean something and which don't. So I think... I think we're gonna be good. It's all about the sound cues. Ooh! Did not expect the guy on the left. <laughs> Oh, that was new. Guy at the window. He had a big, big smile, too. I don't think that jabber noise, whatever that the hell that is, I don't think that means anything. I guess I was wrong. I don't like that new guy. Not one bit. Not a fan of that one. Okay. okay. All right. So. Here's my theory on how I win. I think I have to not look at them with the flashlight right away. Like if the bar is moving really, really quick, I should try to wait like maybe like five seconds before actually using the flashlight. I just tested out for 10 seconds and 10 seconds I did die. Or like 10, like I was counting like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi in my head. So let's try it again. I think this is the, this is the method right here. By the way, uh, don't forget to use Cody Morda at the link in the description to get yourself some gamer subs with 10% uh, off. Oh my god, come on. Yes! Yes! The thought forms moved, it ends! Made by Jamesel, your favorite horror game, Def. Oh my god. Whew. Oh my god. Man. Man, oh man. All right, so that was our first game of the day, Thought Form Invasion. I honestly thought that was pretty good. I liked the whole concept of like trying to fall asleep, but also like trying to catch the anomalies at the same time. Obviously, it did get frustrating towards the end because it was super hard, but honestly, the jump scares were really good. Even when I knew they were coming, they still got me sometimes. Jamezel always makes some really cool horror games. So like I said, if you want to check out some of the other games that he's made, I'll be sure to leave them in the description down below. I know he also has a game called Mimic Search coming out soon, which is kind of more like Missing Hiker and Entity Room, I believe. So we We'll definitely be playing that when it comes out as well. But all right, on to the next tape. All 
All right, welcome to Hibernation. This game is about there's a killer on the loose and there's a cash reward if you catch him and we're a local detective, so we're gonna go see if we could find out about this killer. Well, there's the credits, I clicked that by accident. Oh, okay. This is like in the top five on Itch.io right now, so I'm hoping that it's good. I'm not sure what that voice said, but I read $20,000 reward and I'm in. We gotta get our money, you know what I'm saying? We gotta get our bag. I always hate coming back to this town. But I want that money. Yes, sir. Yes, you do. You want that bag. Guess I need to find some evidence about her case if I want them to cough up that cash. All right. Is there a pause menu? Okay, there is not. All right. Um, okay. Damn, this is a dark and dreary place. Oh, <laughs> the gate like shot me into the air. Hello? Nobody home, I guess. All right, let's investigate all of these houses. There's a cigarette here, so somebody must be here, right? Maybe not. Damn, why is my car just blocking the road like that? It's a little rude. All right, anybody live here? Oh, okay. This person's got a cross on their house. All right. Ooh. That's the, I, I don't know. Uh, sir or ma'am or whoever you are, um, that's not how door knocking works. Usually I knock and then you open the door and like speak to me, but all right, I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you alone, whatever. Um, Do we want to go over there? Looks like it's chained shut. If I want in to investigate, I'll need some bolt cutters. All right. This house looks abandoned compared to the rest of them. A little more run down. All right, maybe there's some bolt cutters this way. A church well I think I found the bolt cutters all right hold on let's just see if we can go into the church first locked but I bet I could find the key in the prices home okay why do you think that okay we can't go anymore that way all right not looking good so far I'm willing to bet this is the prices home Lucy Price, I believe, is the girl that they said was killed, so. Shit. Wait, all right, I understand that we're doing this for a cash reward, but I just broke into someone's house. Like, Lucy's been spouting nonsense again. Something about wanting to leave town for good. How dare she? We've been here our whole lives, and she's just going to throw her history in our church away. Maybe sending her there more often will help. There must be a way to convince her to stay. Hmm. Some alcohol. Empty beer bottles. Yep. There are multiple beer bottles scattered around the house. I can use this to say the Price family were heavy drinkers. Perhaps this influenced the tension between the Price parents and their daughter. That's it's a fair thought. Not 100%, but definitely fair thought. This house is way too dark and needs more lights. What is that behind you? <gasps> Ooh! Lucy? Okay, I knew there would probably be something behind me. I didn't think it'd be that close, though. Oh, no, not the backyard. What is this? Is that a Bible? Evidence 2 Bible. Sorry, I know my webcam's covering it. There are multiple religious books around the house. 
I can use this to say religion was a factor, as the Price family frequented the nearby church. Perhaps religion influenced the Price family to murder their daughter. Oh, I think you're jumping the gun a little bit. She did say she wants to leave town for good. I don't know if that necessarily means that it's because of the church and stuff, though. Lucy Price, our dear daughter. R.I.P. Why am I so short? That's a big tombstone. Things like the size of me. Evidence three. Grave. There's a lone grave sitting in the backyard. I can use this to say they buried their daughter out of guilt for what they've done. I know there is no body here, but nobody else needs to know that. Oh, so we're a scumbag. We're just trying to find a reason to incriminate someone. I see. We're doing anything we can to just get evidence so that we can get our $20,000 reward. So they said there's, they know there's no body there. How do they know that? They would definitely have to have a body, right? They confirmed that she was murdered. And even if her body was buried back here, yeah, it's a little weird. I, I personally don't think I'd want my dead family buried on my property, like right in my small backyard, but you know, to each their own, I guess. And we got a note here. Lucy's gone. Oh, Lucy's gone. Our daughter is gone. The police say she is missing, but we both know she isn't coming home. She's gone. Our church said they could convince her, and now look what fucking happened. I threw the key to the place into the neighbor's trash out of anger. I don't think God could help us anymore. We failed. Um, oh, so she's just missing? So then that is weird that they put a grave in the backyard if she's just missing. Like, they're just, like, jumping the gun and being like, yep, she's dead. We also know that the Price parents, like, still live here. So that's even weirder. Need to look around first. All right, so there is still one more piece of evidence here somewhere. I think the notes would be evidence, but apparently not. Um, all right. How did I not see you? Evidence number four, corpse. The body of Mr. Price is in the backyard. It looks like he overdosed on pills. Oh. I can use this to say that he couldn't handle the guilt for murdering his daughter and took his own life. Shameful. I mean, again, I think you're jumping the gun. There's no pill bottle or anything. All right. I'm guessing now we just got to go to the church. All right, they said they threw it in the neighbor's trash, right? He must be in the trash still. Where is... Oh. Here, perhaps? Oh, church key. All right, cool. We got it. I'm actually not 100% sure, though. Maybe it was the mom that did it. Maybe it was the dad. Maybe our detective self is right. Maybe we're just jumping the gun on a lot of things because we just want some money. I guess we're probably going to find out in the church. Here we go. Got a little book here. Oh, there's a key. In a moment in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Our Lord will be returned. In doing so, he needs a vessel. The local maiden will be appointed for hibernation, awaiting his return in the bowels of her church. All right, I think I found out what happened to Lucy. Just... I could be jumping the gun, but I think I figured it out. And I think I know where she might be. Uh, the question is, how do we get to the bowels of the church? Is it outside? Oh, yep. Seems we're in the church backyard now. All right. Bowels of the church. Here I come. Collect evidence. Oh, no. I can't move. Okay, we're back. I replayed through the whole game again, and 
there is like a glitchy thing where I can't walk forward for some reason. I feel like walk diagonally, but uh, we are in like the depths of the church, which I mean, can we scream any more sketchy? There's like, like this isn't even next to the church. This is like far away in the churchyard, some door to like an underground bunker. Like it, it's pretty big too. All right, let's see what we got going on down here. If I could get down here. <laughs> Evidence number five. Lucy Price. Lucy Price is dead. I did the deed myself. I did the right thing. The day of rapture will follow soon. Only through her hibernation will our Lord return to us. We will stand above this town as the trumpets screech their song. I did the right thing. For he is king. All evidence collected. Great job. Case conclusion. After a local detective investigated the Price family home, they discovered that after growing tensions arose in the family, Lucy Price was murdered by her parents. This detective has been paid a $10,000 reward by Lucy's relatives for this unfortunate discovery. More on the story at six. Thank you very much for playing my game. Okay, so I was a little confused at first, but I think I understand what happened. What I believe happened is our character did kill Lucy Price for the reasons of, you know, those religious reasons. Those weirdly religious reasons, by the way. I'm not saying that that's like normal. <laughs> and then there was a $20,000 reward and he was like, oh, I'll claim that reward too. <laughs> so he gets a double win. He killed her for his own reasons. And then he also gets money. So, and he framed the parents uh, by doing that. Cause I did say even like earlier, I was like, damn, so we're kind of scummy. Like we're just jumping the gun with a lot of the evidence that we're finding. We're kind of just like, all right, must've been the parents 100%. Uh, that's the only way that it makes sense to me. You know what I mean? It's, it's just very odd. Like it's a cool twist, but just a little weird. We do know that our character was from that town. Cause he said like, oh, I'm, returning to the town again but still just a little odd but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i actually like games like that that have a story like that in this graphic style a lot i talk about this all the time so i would love like a game that's like this but like an hour long and no glitches that would that would be preferred no glitches or bugs <laughs> But I like the idea of like a murder mystery and trying to solve it and maybe there being like a little twist at the end but all right on to our final tape of the day All right, I've seen this game blowing up on YouTube shorts and TikTok and stuff. So I want to try it out for myself. It's number two on itch.io right now. And obviously it looks super simple and it's called go to bed. So 
Situation one, subject A. I think the whole goal is kind of similar to the first one where we're just trying to go to sleep. Go to bed. Go to bed. Can I? That... Oh, wow. That's a very handsome picture of me. Um, like, what? <laughs> Should I just go to bed and see what happens or I think it's something like we have to prep ourselves for going to bed Yeah, okay. This makes sense. So locking door closing the window. Can I lock the window? No I don't really know what else there would be to do. All right. Oh Okay Um can I lock this door? You know what? Whatever. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Good night. Did you lock the front door? Yes. Did you close the window? Yes. Did you arm the home security system? No. What did he just break through the window anyway? Oh, nah, bro. Chill, please. Situation failed. Someone got in. All right, let's 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 run it back again and see what happens. There can't be anything else other than that, right? It's just got to be close the window, arm the home security system, which I don't know what difference that would make. I guess set an alarm. Uh, yeah, there can't be anything else. That has to be it. All right, let's try again. Yes, I did lock the front door. Not today, buddy. Yes, I did close the window. And yes, I did arm the home security system. What? Did you hide the knives? Oh, he uses the knife to cut the wire on the home security system. What's stopping him from just bringing a knife himself? Uh, c come on, man. You were relentless. <laughs> Let's try for a third time. I don't even know how many situations there are, so I guess we'll see. Here we go. Boom. 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 Knives. Hidden. Fridge. Thrown out. I don't know. Like, what else could we possibly do? Can you use the TV for something? Can you use my picture? My laundry? Oh. Oh, that's just for the door. All right. We should be good now. We should be good now. Did you lock the front door? Yes. Like, what if I said no, even though I did? Did you close the window? Yes. Did you arm the home security system? Yes. Did you hide the knives? Yes. And the cops is pulling up. They gonna get you, buddy. It's over for you. It's over for you. Well done. No one will get in. Okay. All right. Nice. Situation two. Subject B. All right. Let's see if we can do it on the first try this time. All right. Let's 
got a lot of garbage just lying around here. Okay, we got a window. Close it. Got a home security system. Arm it. We got a front door. Lock it. Any knives? What the hell is this? Who's just got a latch in their home like that? Oh, there's got to be something to do with that. Did I just move in? Like, <laughs> everything's on boxes and stuff. There's garbage bags everywhere. Knives. Hidden. Right, there's got to be something to do with this hatch. I don't know what the... Can I, like, put something on top of it? I'm not getting an option for anything. I literally don't see an option for anything. Let's just, I guess, let's just see what happens. Is the house secure? Yes. Are you sure? Can we put an I think button here? I'm going to say yes. Good. So I guess it was? Huh? Where am I? How did I get here? This is a weird twist. What the hell? Is I a prisoner? How did I get here? I need to leave now. Wait, is this some weird twist where like, they're actually doing experiments on us when they're doing this testing? Locked. All right, so instead of preventing someone from getting in, we have to get out. How the hell do we get out though? Oh, that's a dead body. Hi there, excuse me, coming through. Okay. Where did the music go? And the body's gone too. Please. I'm just gonna go for the door. I'm gonna go for the door. I'm gonna go for the door. Please, please. Oh. Oh my god. Need to find a way out. This is the second situation. It's shut. I should check for an alarm before trying it. It's armed. Maybe it can cut the wire. Oh my god. So because I was so secure in the last situation, it's so much harder in this situation. There are no knives. Can't. Oh my god. Can I? Can I go visit myself in there? <laughs> what do I even do? I'm screwed. No use. It's locked and needs a code. There's no way out. Maybe back downstairs. Oh, that's a horrible plan, bro. Why aren't you in bed? Hold on, I gotta see if there's multiple endings to that. Okay, so from what I can see, there's only that one ending. So I guess you would fail the second situation if you still didn't fully secure the house, you know what I mean? So either way, you're doomed to just be stuck in that third situation. That was a cool little twist, though, because I thought it was just going to be a very basic game where it's like, see if you could survive this situation. But that little twist at the end of the third one is pretty 
cool. I got to give that credit. I can see why this is higher on itch.io than I thought. That was the three horror tapes for today. I do hope that you enjoyed them. If you guys have any games that you want to recommend me, please recommend them in the comments down below. This series is going to be more for those like shorter indie horror games. The longer ones I'll do a separate video on, but feel free to recommend those down in the comments below as well. Also, let me know what you thought of the games today, which ones you liked, which ones you may have disliked. And also, if you want to try out any of them for yourself, they are all free. So the link to all of them will be in the description down below as well. Also, if you guys want to try out some gamer subs, you can get 10% off using code immortal. The link to that is in the description as well. We got a lot of links in the description today. Sorry. <laughs> but seriously, I tried this good flavor and it tastes like a cherry icy. That's what it reminds me a lot of. So I definitely recommend you try it out. But all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like on it. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to hit a million subscribers before the end of the year. And all right, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.